Now we are going to take a look at the concept of identical versus equal objects. Okay, I say that two objects are identical if they have the same, if they have the same structure and they point to the same objects. Okay, their graph is similar in all respects. So I have O1 and O2 which have the same structure. They are both of type tuples where the first value points to O5 and the second value points to sorry where the first value points to O4 and the second value points to O5 right so I say that O1 and O2 are identical okay since they are composed of same objects now let's look at O2 and O3 in O2 and O3 although they have the same structure and they have the same atomic values in those structures just understand here that the first value in I3 or rather O3 is rebel similarly the first value in O2 is rebel why the second value in O2 is research and the second value in O3 is research they do not point to the same objects hence we call O2 and O3 as equal objects okay O2 and O3 and O1 and O3 are equal objects okay so equal objects have same structure plus same atomic values okay and an identical object has an identical object has same structure same structure and same objects okay so that is the concept of identical and equal objects the next feature we are going to look at is the encapsulation feature provided by an object oriented database encapsulation tells me that my object oriented database allows me to to specify operations okay okay now if the property values or the attribute values can only be changed via an operation then that kind of encapsulation is called as a total encapsulation okay so attribute values can only be changed by an operation okay then what we have is a total encapsulation okay this is the strictest form of encapsulation strictest form of encapsulation so in that case you cannot do something like object dot length is equal to object dot length into 1.1 what you would have to do is object dot expand 1.1 